Hey, welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. Today I'm going to show you how I made this DIY counterweight. And this one is made out of concrete, some plywood, some threaded rod, and some steel bar. Alright, so we're going to use half inch plywood for this. And right, so the cutting list for this is uh, two pieces 10 by 10, and two pieces 12 and a half by 9 and a half and one piece 12 and a half by 10. All right, and that'll make the box. The big piece is the bottom. And I have to, I'm just gonna run a bead of glue. And I'm gonna set that here. Straighten her out. I'm gonna brad nail it in place. You see it? Yeah. and I'm using one inch brads. Be the glue. And we'll tack this all into place. All right, because I'm going to fill this with cement, I'm going to reinforce it with these 8x1 Robertsons, and we're going to do three per side. Alright, to get the uh, cap off of this, in the summertime sometimes they come off easy, if not, use a heat gun and warm that up. And wrestle it off, you just pull it off, and there you go, done. So in here, it's just a spring clip holding it in, you just pry it off with a pair of pliers. I use needle nose pliers, you just pop it out. Pop it out, he says. There we go. And that's it. That's the clip right there. Okay. Take the washers out. So that way they're not going to fall. Slide the wheel off. And don't forget the key for the keyway. There's a keyway here. And we're just going to get this tire out of the way for now. So we've uh, measured out where we want our hole. And we're just going to start drilling. And to keep your bits in good shape, put a little bit of drilling oil on them. Machine oil. All right, then just keep increasing your bit size till you get to the right size. Alright, so this is the back plate off of the lawnmower. This was actually really easy to remove with two bolts on each side. So I popped that off. I've just got it kind of sitting here. Just going to uh, mock up my setup here. So I've got to bolt the washer. I'm going to put that through. I've got to bolt this, put it not on the other side here. We're going to just put that on for now. So this is sitting out a little proud and I've got this is going to fit like this and what I've got to do is just mock it up so that it looks good. Right. 
So now we're going to drill it the holes for the for the threaded rod. The threaded rod is going to be about that big. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to mark that. Alright, so since we've got that set up, we're going to try to get the nuts on. So we cut this threaded rod, so you might have to mess with that a little bit to get everything together. <laughs> That looks pretty good. Alright, so now we're going to mix some concrete. Alright, so now I'm going to put this back part of the frame back on. Notice I've already installed my bolts on the side to hold my weights. So the bolts are here. And I've just drilled them through and mounted them permanently. And then I have the end that can be taken off with a washer. And I'll show you how the weight goes on that after. So we're going to put this back in. All right, so to help getting this on, I'm actually gonna put my car jack underneath it. <laughs> and then we're gonna roll it into place on the car jack. That's Back it up here. Okay, so let's take these nuts off here. And I've loosened these side nuts so that I can open these bars. So let's move this in. We have to. Oh yeah, that's good. All right. So, I've got the bolt through the bottom here. So, it has a uh, it has a trailer hitch. So the bolt that I mounted on the bottom of this is through the trailer hitch. I'm just gonna work these on here oops once i get one on the other one should be easier yeah, there's one pry the other one on oh yeah there we go that's a beautiful thing so I'll put the washer on, put my nut on, and then we'll tighten everything up. All right, so this is it. Here's my counterweight. Um, very simple to build, very easy to make, um, and really actually very easy to install. I'm surprised at how well this actually worked and how easy it was to do, to tell you the truth. I'm pretty impressed. So. Anyway, that's it. That's the counterweight. It weighs 93 pounds. Like I say, it was really simple to build and, and kind of a fun little project. And hopefully this works for the winter. I will make another video later on in the winter um, just to see or just to show you guys how well this works. All right, so here's my snowblower mower. 
Um, I bought the snowblower itself for $500 and it didn't fit my bigger lawn tractor which is over there. <laughs> and so I had to find a mower that it fit because it was cheaper than modifying it. So this one fit on a Craftsman uh, 1000 series. So I ended up buying this old Craftsman with a uh, ruined mower deck and it was sitting outside. The rest of it looks really good and I bought that for $300 used. So $500 for the blower, $300 for the mower. Um, I added some LED lights to the front and they will give me a little bit more illumination than the light that uh, came with the tractor. I think I should have got some brighter ones but oh well. And then I added a chute control here. You can buy the chute controls. This one is a Craftsman um, blower made by Burko, Burko Mac. And this is the Burko Mac um, chute control. And it doesn't, it's kind of a long chute control, so it kind of winds around. So I've had to just put a little hook on here just to keep it from getting in, in the way of the belts and things. And the chute control is operated right here. A lot of, so you can lower it. Right. And then obviously with the handle here, you can crank your chute around. So that's it. That's my mower or my snowblower actually. And then there's the counterweight that I put on it and the chains that I bought and put on it. So yeah, we should be all ready for winter now. I'm uh, hoping this works well on this gravel driveway. Um, I see a lot of my neighbors have these, but they have paved driveways, so I'm hoping for the best. But I'll post a video on that and uh, show you how it works. All right, so I hope this helps you guys out to make a cheap and easy counterweight for the back of your lawn tractor for your snowblower. And uh, it was a fun little project. It worked out great and it was real easy. All right, anyway, thanks for watching.